Welcome to iLecture Online. Some of the most difficult types of word problems in algebra are related to this particular type. It's called the rate of doing work and it confuses a lot of students. So here we're going to show you how to solve such a problem. And before we start solving the problem, it basically com comes down to this. You have to use this particular equation. So let's say in this case there's two people. There's Jeff and there's Jim. Let's call them person number one, person number two. And the equation you want to use to solve the problem is as follows. The rate of the first person times the time that they spend painting. And before we actually start that, let me read the problem so you know what we're trying to do here. Here it says that Jeff can paint the garage in six hours and Jim can paint the same garage in four hours. How fast can they paint if they work together? Now, again, you need the equation where the rate of the first person, let's say Jeff, times the time that he'll spend painting when they're working together, plus the rate of the second person, in this case Jim, times the time that he'll be painting when they work together, and that will then equal to the whole job done. So that's the equation we want to get to. So T here represents the time that they'll paint if they work together. We don't know what that is. That's an unknown quantity. It'll be less than four hours because Jim can paint it alone in four hours. Jeff can paint it in six hours. So when they work together, it'll be less than four hours. So T represents that unknown time. R1 represents how fast Jeff can paint and R2 represents how fast Jim can paint. That's the rate at which they can paint. So how do you come up with the value for R1 and R2? Well, it turns out that R1 is equal to 1 over 6. In other words, if Jeff can paint the garage in 6 hours, that means he can paint 1 6 of the garage in every hour. So if it takes him six hours to do the whole thing, then in every one hour, he paints one-sixth of the garage. So that's the rate that Jeff can paint. So this is Jeff rate. Jeff can paint at one-sixth of a garage every hour. And for Jim, the rate is equal to one over four, because if Jim can paint a garage in four hours, then the rate at which you can paint is one-fourth of a garage in every hour. So that's the rate at which you can paint. Now let's plug that into our equation. So our equation now becomes the rate of Jeff, which is one-sixth of a garage every hour, times the number of hours that they paint together, plus the rate of Jim, which is one-fourth of a garage every hour, times the number of hours that they paint together, and that will then equal the whole job done. The full garage will be painted. All we need to find now is the correct value for T, how long it will take for both of them to paint. So that's the key. You come up with the equation, the rate times time for the first person plus the rate times time for the second person, it'll be the same amount of time because they're working together, will equal the whole job done. And the rate of the first person, Jeff, will be the inverse of the total time taken to paint the garage. If you can paint in six hours, then Every hour, he'll paint one-sixth of a garage. If Jim can paint the whole garage in four hours, then every hour, he'll paint one-fourth of the garage. Then you write the rate times the time, one-sixth times the time, plus one-fourth times the time equals one. Now we solve for time, and so we're going to multiply both sides by the lowest common denominator, which in this case is 12. So we'll write, we'll multiply the left side by 12, and we'll multiply the right side by 12. When we do that, 6 goes into 12 two times, so that gives us 2t, plus 4 goes into 12 three times, so we write 3t is equal to 12. Add these together, we get 5t is equal to 12, or when we divide both sides by 5, we get t is equal to 2.4. Now that's in hours. 0.4 of an hour, that would be 24 minutes. So this is equal to 2 hours and 24 minutes. If you're not sure how I converted the 0.4 to 24 minutes, let's take a look at here. So there's 60 minutes to 1 hour. So if you divide by 10, that means 60 divided by 10, 1 hour divided by 10, or 6 minutes equals 1 tenth 
of an hour, which can also be written as 0.1 hour, like this. And so therefore, if I now multiply everything by 4, so 4 times 6, that means 4 times 6 minutes is equal to 4 times 0.1 hours, or 24 minutes is equal to 0.4 hours. And that's how I convert it from 0.4 hours to 24 minutes. Now, what this means is that if Jeff can paint a garage in six hours by himself, and Jim can paint the same garage in four hours by himself, if they work together, they can paint the garage in two hours and 24 minutes, just a little bit less than two and a half hours. And that is how we solve the problem.